All right, so we got to see the new Hulu horror movie, Mr. Crockett, based on a 1993, I think, uh, children's uh, TV show host, almost like a Buddy Rogers kind of style of a character. So I want to let you, Beautiful you know, day I want you guys, exactly. I want you guys take on Mr. Crockett. So we'll start with with uh, with you, uh, Jimmy Freeze. What you think? All in all. I like the movie. I just think it could have been a little bit more, let's say, sadistic or horrific. Yeah. You know, I think it could have been a little bit more sadistic and horrific. It could have been more, a little bit more brutal. But then again, we living in this day and age. And, you know, we got a PG-13 shit down. So let me ask you something. When he did the kills in the in the movie, like the kills wasn't like good enough, or you felt like it, it should have like took it a notch more. He could have he could have stepped it up a notch. I like I like when I like when the dude pulled out the gun and he he made him blow his own brains out with that bubble. Yeah, that was unique. That was unique. You know, that was that was something that you really don't see on cinema nowadays. Yeah. You know, but the other kills. So overall, him as a character, what you think of him as a character, like, and what vibes did he give you? The vibes he gave me was like, yo, he's he's friendly, but at the end of the day, he's he don't get it twisted. He's sadistic. Yeah, like a creepy, like a you know, creepy, he's a creep, sadistic. He's, he's somebody you wouldn't want to meet walking down a dark alley. Yeah. Especially you know? with the damn suspenders. I don't know. He has a bow yeah. tie. I think he has a yeah. bow tie. He's somebody you wouldn't want to walk down a dark alley and see. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, He's all right, let me ask you hey, hey, little kid, I got some candy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know? He's one of those. So, overall, as far as, like, him as a character, do you think he has potential as, like, you know, maybe, like, a, a new horror classic kind of a legend or something? Or something that if, people could, like, put in the if, status? If the director does it right, it could become a cult classic. It could become the next Candyman, Freddy Krueger, Jason, Michael Myers. You know, it can become that. They just have to sit down, write the good script, and do it right. And Bear, what'd you think? Well, what's your take on Mr. Crockett? I kind of liked it. It was kind of like uh, Mr. Rogers meets uh, Freddy Krueger, Nightmare on Elm Street. You feel me? Uh -huh. he, you know he what it gave me? It gave me like a Candyman, Mr. Rogers kind of thing. Yeah. Vibe. Yeah, like, 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 you, like you see? But I liked it because, you know, he had his own world. He had his own little origins. It, it, it all tied on gray. And it was um it was MA. It wasn't it wasn't PG thirteen. I just feel like they probably didn't have the budget to get too crazy with it because it was crazy. It had its yeah. scenes. It I had agree some with good that. scenes in it. It had I some good scenes that. in it. It was but it, it, I just feel like movies like that sometimes it's the budget that that fucks them up. But I liked that the concept of him leaving the 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 book mail like 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 a mailbox like full of books. So that's yeah. how you know he was hitting the houses. And then you watch the VHS like on some old school ring type of thing. So it it was it was it had a lot of things from different old movies and classics. All right, so this is what I want to like add in there. Like he has like vibes of like Freddy Krueger, like little things mm -hmm. he does, like Freddy Krueger, like how he lures and try to get kids and just like mm -hmm. little like weird you know pop-ups and how he leaves like videotapes and things like that to get his victims right that's one he had mm -hmm. like candy man vibes too yeah. then then he had like a, a, a almost like hellraiser like it was like so Thank many you. other yeah Thank like you, so many other horrors in there that. i was thinking about hellraiser also I was thinking about that. Just him being creepy like that too, with the you know, with the smile and the the goody goody kind of attitude, and then just like flipping the script, and then the unique kills, and then the vibe that I love about the movie, where they went back into the '90s, back in time. So I like mm -hmm. when movies go back into a time, not where a movie, the world always has to be in a current modern event. yeah state. the current yeah. events yeah exactly like the feel of going back to the 90s can give you like that vibe from that horror from the 90s and i like that about this movie yeah. the movie had that vibe to it 
Yeah. I agree with that. I agree with that, my brother. So. I, I definitely liked it though. He, it's like you said, it, he had his little song. So when the kids was already nah, fed up like with the, the parents, too, with his yeah, own song, yeah. he had his little theme song. So whenever a kid needed him, he, you'll sing the, the little song and he'll come and, you know, come and body your parents and yeah, take you with him. That's kind of like the, the, the back in the days when we was, we was growing up. Uh, Barney, I, just, I love you. You yep. love me. You I know, just like that with a twist. Yeah, I, it just had that. It just had that little edge on it. I, I just like that VHS, that old nineties. You know what I'm saying? Bring it back because it's, it's easier to make those type of movies. Not that you know what I'm saying. You keep it in that. You can't do too much because it's back in the days. You feel me? You do everything yeah, modern. Yeah. Everything has an excuse. One thing I did. One thing I did like about it is they kept it old school. Yeah. Cause it was yo, simple like like let's let's just say kids nowadays would not know what the hell what the hell a vhs is yeah they don't know what a cassette is they don't know what a record is they don't they i guarantee you they probably won't even know what a cd is yeah that that's how that's how far you know into the you future know what i'm saying i respect from. that they took it back to that era exactly yeah so let me ask you guys son would you recommend this as like a like a good horror movie for Halloween? Oh, of course. Of this course, is like, yeah. you have my vote. You have my vote. This is definitely a, a, a good film to watch around Halloween. Like it's if basically. Another, if I have another child, I'm gonna tell him, yo, you better be careful. You better behave, or Mr. Crockett gonna come get you. <laughs> yeah, and he has like a ring to him. Like a little okay. Crockett. Yeah, be careful, yeah. Mr. Crockett gonna come get you. Yeah, and, they, and they don't make it no better. He got that 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 Pee Wee's um playhouse type of yep. evil vibe Thank going. You. Thank yeah. you. Like this first movie, like depending on like how it, it it you know it goes with the people and the way the people you know receive it. If it builds a cult following, if they do a second one, it can amp up. So it's like mm -hmm. this could yeah. get crazier because he already has a backstory. He has his own song. Yeah, so you know there's back. gonna be a sequel. There's gonna be a sequel. They giving you, they giving you that 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 sneak. Yeah, it's gonna be a sequel. I could see a franchise. I could see. Yeah, thank you. I That's what I'm that. saying. It could be see. a franchise. It yeah, can't be a franchise. It. Exactly. All right, he could be so, up there. He could be up there with Jason, Michael, Freddy, Chucky. I see Candyman. He could be up there with them. Yeah, he has potential. He has. He has potential. Thank you. He has the potential to be up there with them. Man, he does. All right, folks. You let us know in the comments section below if you get to see Mr. Crockett. If you're gonna see it, you let us know what you think of this potential horror legend.